Mr. Telefero TV. Of course, I got a video up in the atmosphere about Remy Ma winning Best Female Rapper of the Year last night at the BET Awards. But I didn't talk about the shot she took at Nicki. Like, she was straight shooting, man. And I want to put some context. I'm not going to say I'm taking up for Remy Ma. But I do want to bring some context to these comments in her disdain for Nicki Minaj. Like, where does it come from? So let's read what she said first. Y'all bitches got fat while we starved. Shots in your ass, pads in your bras. Y'all some liars. It ain't no facts in your sons. And yeah, that crown is coming. It's coming back to the Bronx. She freestyled that as she won an award in her, during her acceptance speech. And a lot of people were like, hey, Remy, what are you doing? You just won. You're on top now. They just labeled you the queen. What are you doing? Why are you still taking shots at Nikki? Isn't, aren't you beating a dead horse? Remy made sure she said those bars. Those bars were ready to go. By the way, she knew she was winning an award. Don't have me about it. I'm not trying to have a conversation about it. She knew she was winning the award. She had those bars in the chamber. But let's make this clear. Let's take you back a little bit. This is not coming out of nowhere. All right, so here's the timeline. Nikki, Remy get into it. Remy drops Sheether after she feels as if though she's dissed by Nikki on a couple of records with Gucci and Jason Derulo. We go from there. But let's, let's really dive into it. When Remy was getting together the dirt for Sheether, right? She talked about this on, on countless interviews. When she was getting the dirt on Sheep to watch the Wendy Williams interview, you could really get a lot out of it. When, when Remy did one with Wendy. When she was talking about Sheeter, Remy said she learned something about Nikki that she kind of thought, but she didn't know 100%. She was like, I'm doing dirt because I'm a rapper. I'm getting my research. I take this shit serious. I'm getting my dirt on Nikki and I'm asking people about Nikki and they just don't believe she's a good person. Nobody's saying anything good about it. It's like all everybody was holding this in because they were too scared to talk up to the star. It's like the best basketball player on the team. You're not going to talk bad to Jordan. You'll have to be traded by tomorrow. You're not going to talk crazy to Kobe. Hell, he got shot out of L.A. <laughs> so you're talking about Nikki, as powerful as she is, who knows how many hundreds of millions up, an incredible talent that she is. That don't mean you a great person. Again, I don't know. I don't know Nikki. I've never met her. But Remy said this. She said when she did more and more research, she found out more and more negative stuff about how Nikki. She talks behind the scenes about people. She does people green. She doesn't treat them right. Remy was like, I want to tell everybody thank you. She was like, even down to the person who holds the door for me, I try to tell everybody thank you for your service, everything. Because you know? people don't gotta do shit for you. You know, people take that for granted. I, every service I get, I'm learning more and more. You got a tip for these services. I'm a person, let me go side note real quick. I'm a person who, when I go to a hotel, I don't like valet in my car. To be honest with you, I don't like going to hotels. You gotta get your car valet. I just don't like it. But the more I grow, the more I realize, like, you gotta tip people for services. You, you, you need to think about tipping your barber, even though it's a consistent service that they do probably every week, every two weeks for most guys of African American descent. You got to tip your barber. It's a service that he doesn't have to do right. He doesn't have to put his time and effort. It's a service. That restaurant, maybe we want to tip that waitress that you thought about not tipping because she had a little bit of an attitude. I ain't saying giving a tip that you thought about giving her at first a good tip. But you want to make sure you want to give her something because it's a service. It's a service. Treat people right when they do stuff for you. Raymond was like, the more she did research, the more she found out Nikki wasn't treating people right. And it even goes to a further extent. When, when Nikki was trying to get sheep to took it off the radio reportedly Remy said Nikki was going behind the scenes trying to get it off the radio like try, literally trying to force people to say don't play that going to different talking to different radio stations getting them online you really gonna play that sheet the record I'll never do your radio show then I'll never do anything you know what I mean hell it got to the point that even breakfast club said Envy and Charlemagne said Nikki reached out to them and was like yo you you playing this? Like, you rocking with this? Like, what's up with you? Like, Nikki was really trying to politic this record on out of here. And shit, any grand scheme of things, it is out of here because apparently Remy didn't get the record clear with Nas. Nikki has a relationship with Nas, a friendship, whatever you want to call it. Relationship, I don't know. So now, Nikki, what people have said has been going on for years. A lot of people say this. I don't know her. 
I don't know. And, she, and let's make this clear. Nikki does a lot of great things for people. Make that clear. Nikki does a lot of great things for people. I like the college scholarship thing. She paid off a few people's debt. I love that. Love that. But um, it looks like Remy tried to bring to the forefront what a lot of people were saying behind the scenes about Nikki. So now you think that Remy's bullying Nikki. But it's kind of the people I talk to who have inside sources are pretty much saying, no, it's not Remy bullying Nikki. She's going hard on Nikki right now. And, and going out of her way, you see Remy making sure she bring out all the queens on the Summer Jam set except Nicki Minaj. She invited everybody. A lot of the women couldn't come. Like um, Eve, she couldn't come. So she tried to invite all the queens she could. She wants to let it be known that it's time for the bully to get bullied. And that's what this is about. That's why she's going on stage celebrating the way she is. Make sure all the people was there celebrating dropping bars and disses at nikki everybody knew the hell she was talking about yesterday she's going out of her way to show remy that nikki excuse me that women get along it's just you and every chance that woman has gotten more than making music for herself since that beef she has been going out of her way to go at nikki and make it personal with nikki because she feels as if though she when she did her research nikki was treating people wrong in the industry bullying people because she was on top subscribe to my channel for more exclusive content like this i'm out if you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand make sure you hit me up at booking at again that's booking at